Good afternoon. Sean here from Mountains Garage. I just built the drive shaft for a guy. He's going to pick it up tomorrow. And it occurred to me, he's going to assemble it himself. Maybe I should make a video about installing the U-joints. My way, anyway. Here we go. You can't smell it, but I love the smell of fresh paint. Let's get back to the U-joint. All right, this is all brand new Spicer stuff. But if this was a used yoke, I would sand or use emery paper to clean up the bores. And a lot of times, this area right here will get damaged when you're beating out the old U-joint. So you want this smooth, you pretty much want to assemble this with very little force. You, uh, grease fit and orientation. I like to put it just like that. Same with the back. I know it's gonna be protected up in here. The drive shaft sometimes, they're not cut the same, but I know it's gonna clear here. You're gonna remove all four caps and pack the cavity with grease. Use your small finger and push it right in there. They don't give you enough at the factory. These aren't bad, but you don't want those falling out just when you tip it over. You want them to be pretty secure. So use regular, the same grease you're gonna grease it with afterwards. You take the cross, set it up into the oak. Stick it all the way out through. I'm gonna hold it just like that. I have control of it then. I'm gonna set the cap on. You can almost push it all the way onto the cross and it takes very little effort to tap that down through. And I'm gonna tap it. Let's pretend it's together. I'm gonna to tap it till it's all the way down beyond flush on the other side. So this cap will be way down here beyond the clip groove. Then when you flip it over, it's very easy to set this one on. So now you've got it fully assembled in the cross. You haven't lost any needle bearings. Now I just got to move it back this way. So I, this clip is installed. I set it in the vise with a rag over it. It's the only time I use a vise for a U-joint. I'm going to tap right here with a rubber hammer. Or you can use a regular hammer if you want, but rubber won't do any damage. And you want to ease this up against the clip and occasionally tapping that back in. You don't want to get a gap until you're up against the clip and you can put this clip in. You're not done. You need to set this back in the vise with the pressure on the on here, just gently, well, sitting on a rag, and tap here, and then tap here. You'll feel the difference in the U-joint when you actually set the cap up against the clip. It gives it just a little bit of uh, movement, loosens it right up. Once you've got the yoke assembled with the U-joint in it, it's easy to lay the like, up against the dry shaft and repeat the same procedure with the dry shaft. A little, it's a little more clumsy than just having this, but same procedure. Again, I. I hold the yoke of the, I hold the cross of the U-joint right up in, into the cap. This, this relationship does not change. I just push it in and out. The whole thing stays together like that. You know, when you try to come in from both sides with a gap, that's when you drop your needles. So you got to keep the whole thing in its correct position and just maneuver it in and out of the yokes. It's really easy. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use washers and nuts and sockets and everything else to push. If that makes you happy, go ahead. But the procedure is going to be the same. You just need to keep the joint together. You, you can't operate with an air gap here and expect not to drop needle bearings. I wait and put the grease fitting in last after it's in the shaft. Let's do that right. And then I'll grease it up and hopefully it lives a long life. 